Dragonfly Fly. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to build a shepherd's uh, crook, so a shepherd's staff. And um, we're going to be doing this just through a small sapling, a very simple thing, although it does take a couple years to make. It's very simple just to get it started. So if you start early, and if in a couple of years, you'll have an excellent uh, made shepherd's crook. So please stay tuned, and you're going. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, uh, we're back with this, and so right now, I'm going to go over things you need. You really only need two things. Um, some zip ties, and you actually can use anything you want, rope, um, and other things that can hold this together. Um, I'm going to use zip ties because I mean, that's what I have on hand currently. You're also going to need a nice sapling of your choice. So make sure it's very easy to bend and that it's easy to be pliable without snapping or you know breaking inside. So once you have this ready, you're just really ready to go. So literally all you need to do is take your uh, sapling and you want to bend it back to where you have your cook size. So I'm going to, use, I'm going to be using this for, this for um, shepherding. So uh, I want a good thing that can hold like a lamb or um, a sheep's head, like a, a sheep's neck, so that I can uh, catch them. So this size it seems about right for me. So once I have this side, I figure out what I want. Then I'm going to take my zip ties and I'm going to attach to what I need. So right now, I'm going to do that right now. All right, so now that I've connected my zip ties to me uh, the size I need, so I'm just going to take what I need. And so, as I said, this seems about you know large enough right here. So now I'm just going to take my zip tie and wrap it around the uh, main branch. I'm also going to wrap it around here on this side, you know, allowing to what I need. So then I'm just going to connect it here. All right, so it's connected. Okay, so that's still not my, my desired size. So I'm going to do it just a bit more until I get my. Oh, not quite yet. That seems about right. So there you go. That's really all you need to do. Now you can. Uh, oh, as a year, as a you know. As, as the tree grows, you can add more zip ties to it, you know, you know, to make it stronger, so that it keeps this constant thing. After a few years, once you once you've reached your desired thickness and height, you're ready just to cut, just cut it down, and you take off all these extra side branches. So, um, also, whenever you're doing this, make sure you go from the main uh, tree itself. You don't want to go off of a, a side branch, or it won't look nearly as well. So that's good. I mean. So um, make sure you do that. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial on how to build a simple shepherd shepherd's book, and. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching.